Hi folks. I have a rare night tonight where I actually have the place to myself so I thought I would take the opportunity and make a video or seven. And yeah, I decided to start with this one. So let's begin. I'm going to start with the stuff that I've used up so that we can get the yays out of the way. And this first one is the bane of my existence, but it's now dead. May it rest in peace. My color tattoo, barely branded, is now completely gone. And those of you that have seen my pictures on Instagram will know that this one has been dead for a while now. <laughs> so, yay! Uh, next one that I wasn't super thrilled about is the Maybelline Age Rewind what is this? Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. Yeah, the brightener thing. It's completely finished. So I'm happy about that. It's an okay product, but I won't be getting it again. It just didn't do anything amazing for me. So My next one's kind of bittersweet because I really enjoy using it. Um, and I'm glad it's done, but now I'm sad that it's gone. <laughs> but that's okay. That's the whole point of this. It's my Sonia Kashuk um, Hidden Agenda concealer palette in medium. So it is all done. It was my first eyeshadow that I ever finished all the way like down to the very last bit. So that's kind of fun to to be able to say that I've at least done that. <laughs> so yeah, that's done. From my new round of Project 10, I've used up one item and that is my the Coco Chanel, uh, the Mademoiselle cream. This is all finished. So again, another bittersweet. I'm gonna miss. Ah, I'm gonna miss that scent. But I'm glad that I used it up before it kind of went south. Okay. Um, from my first project ten, I only have one thing left that I rolled over, and that's of course the other bane of my existence: my Mac blush in Love Crush. This one, and I, I don't know if you can see, but there is a little dip right in the middle there, which is show you where I've been concentrating my my brush. <laughs> uh, I've been using this religiously, not only as a blush but as an eyeshadow, either in the outer corner or as an all over shade or as a crease shade, whatever I could think of. I was using it, so now there's finally some progress in there, you can see. So I'm happy about that. When I hit pan on this thing, <laughs> I don't know if I might just jump for joy and chuck this in the garbage. Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so frustrated with it, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Probably won't, but you know, whatever. Anyway, so for my new round, uh, let's start with my foundation. So that's the Sephora. And this is where I started, right there. And now I am, from what I can tell, I'm about here. Yeah, so at the base of the S here. So not a whole heck of a lot of progress on this one. And it's because the last two or three weeks I really have not wanted to wear foundation. I have just like the way my skin has been and has been feeling so I just I have had no desire to wear it which is huge for me. <laughs> Never had a time where I just thought my skin was so great I didn't want to wear foundation or concealer and it's been that way for the last three weeks so yay for me but not so great for using up my products <laughs> which is the same deal with my next one um, the NYX HD Studio Powder. Um, let me get this. Okay. There. So you can see where I started, and then just down there is where I am right now. So, not a heck of a lot of progress since I introduced my round two, and it's exactly for the same reason. Plus, it is now fall, winter, 
it's damn cold here in Canada, so it's cold. And my skin is going dry, like it always does in winter. Um, so I don't find that I need powder, and even the lightest application ends up looking cakey most of the time, just because it might look nice when I finish my makeup in the morning, but once I get out into the cold air, it dehydrates my skin even more, so by the time I get to work, or wherever it is I'm going, I look cakey. <laughs> so, that's the reason I haven't been using that a lot. But, slowly but surely, right? Okay, next is my NYX Love and Florence Quint, my little palette. They meet my Romeo. And, uh, my light's not going to show it, but, <clears throat> let's see if I flip it. There we go. Yeah, you can sort of see these two have a bit of a dent in them. The, the middle one does as well, but it's so bright that, yeah, you can't really see it in this light. And uh, right in the middle, I've been concentrating my, my brush in this one. Um, same thing with this one, but this one more has, uh, this one more has. Wow, I talk good English. This one has more of a of a dip in it than this one, just because, you know, this one I just use in my outer corner, and this one tends to be um, either an all over or a uh, transition or a crease shade, so I get more use out of this one. But considering this is brand new, pretty much, because when I got this, I only used it maybe two or three times, and then it kind of got lost in my collection, so I'm quite happy with that progress, and I've been really enjoying using it, so that's a big plus. Okay, another one that won't be showing a lot of progress, but some anyways, my Sona Kashuk, my cream bronzer in rich bronze. There is more pan showing, which is good, but I've actually been neglecting this quite a bit for the same reason I've been neglecting my foundation. I just have had no desire to wear it. So, but plugging away at it. Okay, my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. There's more pan showing on this one, and there's certainly a more sizable dip in the in the shadow. I've been really enjoying this one, so I'm in no hurry for this to be used up. But I'm kind of I'm kind of happy that it's you know you see some progress and it's moving along. So this is nice. I like how I do my eyebrows. <laughs> so good little product. I like it. Next is my NYX Cream Blush in Natural. It's there. I have been using it um, almost every time I wear <laughs> makeup, and it you know I don't really concentrate my brush anywhere, and I don't really use my fingers, so I can't really see a dip. But I can see more of like the outside rim of the pan. You know what I mean? Uh, so I know that product is being used up, <laughs> but I'm in no hurry actually to. To get rid of this one either it is very pretty very soft I'm not a huge fan of cream products um, or at least I thought I wasn't because I got a lot of them during the summer and in the summer I'm more oily in the t-zone so it, it would just you know melt away or it would go blotchy or you know things would move around because of the excess stuff <laughs> But now in winter, since my skin is a little drier, it looks a lot better. It certainly lasts a lot longer. And even when it fades, it f it doesn't fade unevenly. So I don't mind that. I kind of like it. All right, here's oh my Becca. Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. And they love these long names. This is just my little sample that I had um, that you saw me include and there's I've used maybe about a third of this and I'm gonna have to call it quits with this one and this will be my first fail and I'm, I'm kinda happy it's with a sample product than an actual you know full size thing because like I said my skin is getting drier so this is way too much for me it is far too drying when I apply it and everything looks super cakey on top of this doesn't matter how lightly I apply it or even if I only put it in certain places doesn't matter 
um, I tried it just to, um, I tried it just to, you know, some enlarged pores, just to even those out. No, nope, still did the same thing. It looked like I had really dry skin, and so everything would clump up there. So, yeah, and I, I mean, it worked fine for me the couple of times I used it in the summer, and I really should have used it up in summer, but for whatever reason, I forgot all about it, and I had too much stuff to go through, so... Yeah, I'm not going to be keeping it till next summer because I don't want it sitting there gathering all sorts of lovely little bacteria in there. So I'm going to call it quits on this one and toss it. But in its place, I will put another Becca product. This is my Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. And I am right here with it. You see my little tab? That's where I am. And I've actually really been enjoying using it with my foundation because it, um, it just thins it out and gives me this lovely dewy effect because of course this is amazing I just love this stuff uh, but it makes it more of a tinted moisturizer which I've been really enjoying it feels really light and gives me nice even tone and yeah so it's so much better so I'm going to include that instead of this guy okay next is my Too Faced Perfect, Bl Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black that's this guy so as you can see, I started this full size, and I'm just going, but this, here's the plastic little bottom thing where it starts, so that's how I'm measuring. <sighs> what to say about this guy? I hate it. I hate it. Only good things I can say is it's going fast. And that's even bad, too, because these are not cheap. But every time I use it, I have to sharpen it. So that's not great as far as value is concerned. But beyond that, I that's actually a plus for me because I just don't like this thing. It runs and it bleeds like nobody's business. My eyes literally have competitions every day to see which one's going to reach my chin first. I just, no, no. So I will not be sad when this guy is over. And considering the size, now that it is, after <laughs> all this time using it, um... Maybe a couple more weeks and this guy will be done. So, quite happy about that. There's my little angry rant for you. Back to happiness. My <laughs> hard candy uh, concealer little tiny pencil in medium. It's so cute. Look how tiny. <laughs> there. <laughs> Uh, I really like this. I wish they made it in like a full size. I would totally buy it. Um, and I still keep forgetting it, but it's tiny. And again, not too much progress on this one because I haven't wanted to put concealer in too many places. So for the times that I've used it, it's worked well. And again, I, you know, it'll be nice to have it out of the collection, but yeah, it'd be kind of sad for it to go, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. So that is my update. Yes, don't think I've missed anything. So, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.